Hey folks, this is Riker, with 5 tips for Overwatch's new game mode, Lucio Ball, which released with the Summer Games. This brawl mode is a 3 on 3 game of soccer, or football if you're European, that gives you 4 minutes to score as many goals as possible. At the end of the 4 minutes, the team with the most goals wins. Or if they're tied, it goes into sudden death. First team to score, wins. Just a quick note, a lot of people have been pointing me to the new Sombra code, uh, the new clues in the latest videos, I am aware of them. This is by far the most complex stuff. We've got like three different lines of code breaking going on, visual clues, uh, ciphered things that are being brute forced. There's been people in Discord like 24-7 for the past few days trying to crack this. It's, it's astounding the amount of work going into this. And as soon as we have something, as soon as I can, I will make an update video uh, when we have the crack code. Otherwise... If it's going to take too long, I'll just make a video explaining where we are right now. But back to Lucio Ball. If you start following these five tips, you'll increase your odds of winning. Tip one, have a goalie. It's really simple, but it's incredible how many people don't follow this advice. If someone doesn't stay in net to protect your net from being scored on, then people are going to score on you that much easier. Balls could just roll in. Uh, and it just makes it a lot easier for the enemy to line up a shot. If all three people on your team are pushed far out, then no one's going to be able to get back on time to stop a ball from going in the net. Now, typically, when you spawn, if you spawn in the net, your job's goalie. What's a quick way to know if you're in the net? Well, if you see your two teammates ahead of you, you're the goalie. That said, if you don't spawn as the goalie, but notice that your team has no one in nets, Rather than yell at the guy who's supposed to be the goalie, it's a lot easier for you to just go in there and cover for him. Yeah, he's a douche or just ignorant, but the time it takes to start yelling at him, just get a net. Tip two is to use the jump pads. These are the golden areas on the ground. If you jump while you're in them, you're going to jump a lot higher and further. You can use these as a speed boost to quickly close the gap. It's great for getting air balls for one. Uh, great for blocking, used offensively, defensively, but again, also for mobility. You're going to move faster than someone on the ground if you're jumping ahead with a jump pad. Tip number three is to run interference with the enemy team with your right click. That push attack that you have, while it is your best tool for shooting the ball, can also be used to knock enemy players around. While you do want to be reserving it for hitting the ball, you could also use it to knock a goalie out of the way or to stop someone from getting a good shot. Tip 4. Harness the power of the air ball. Now, if the enemy team is doing what it should be doing and has a goalie in net, then it can be pretty difficult to get a rolling ball past them. It's really easy to block a ball that's rolling at you. Air balls, on the other hand, are a lot trickier to block. The most complex air balls are executed when the ball is in the air and you use a jump pad and spike it into the net, but you can simply shoot an air ball just by aiming upwards. Our final tip will be using your Q. Your ultimate will pull the ball towards you wherever you are on the map. That said, it does not pass through obstacles, i.e. enemy players. A really powerful way to use your Q is to go into the enemy's net, wait for there to be a clean line between the ball and yourself. In other words, no enemies in the way. Typically, this is best to do when the ball is on your side of the map, with the enemies deep in your territory. Then just Q, and then right-click to knock the goalie out of the way. The ball will come rolling straight to you if you're in net. Bam. Goal. I can't count how many times I've gotten goals this way, and it is so satisfying to do. So that's our five tips. Do these things, you're going to win more games. The rest of this video will be just footage playing out the rest of this match. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment with your thoughts and tips and strategies in Lucio Ball. Special thanks to my Twitch supporters and Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. And subscribe to join Rikers Raiders to be alerted when our next Overwatch video goes live. Step this bitch. Push on.
boss. Oh, this is my jam. Drop the beat.
MVP! Thank you, thank you. Personally, I just can't wait to get the new Junkrat Zika Virus Patient skin. Or the new Tracer voice line, Don't drink the water. Or the new Zarya spray of her doping results coming up negative. It's gonna be a great Olympics this year, folks.